Marcus Grinch with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new M43 Repro Label stickers for the Deluxe Class Leadfoot figure that we really never got. As you can see, you get two sticker sheets on very nice high quality paper and it adds all the wonderful details. You got the number 42, Energizer, Impala. You actually have the Target logo right up here, which we'll see better later on. You got stickers for the actual tires, things of that nature. Just a, a, a much, much needed upgrade set for this figure. Now, as you can see, this is the Takara version, which doesn't have any of those. It's very plain and very boring looking. And I've been doing these reviews for repro labels now for quite a while. And honestly, this, in my opinion, is one of the figures that needs this uh, sort of upgrade the absolute most. This figure just screams for some added detail. It really, I mean, it, it's a very nice looking vehicle mode. I love this figure, but you can see it's just so very plain and absolutely boring looking. It really does not resemble what we got on the actual movie at all. So having said that, we're able to take this and we're going to go from looking like this to looking absolutely incredible. This thing just absolutely changed the look and feel of this toy the second I started applying some of these stickers. I mean, that sticker by itself, I mean, remember, it was just, there was no numbers there. It was just red on top of black. No variation with the colors, no numbers on there, nothing. That's just absolutely incredible. And I'm going to zoom in. That way you can see some of the, uh, the actual details added on there. Like I said, you got some details right up in here, some sponsorship logos. Sponsorship logos here and here. Goodyear up here, you got Goodyear actually on the tires, which is kind of a staple for all of these uh, Dark of the Moon Wrecker figures. They, they need to have those. Absolutely amazing. You got a sponsorship logo right up in there. You got one right up in there. You got three in a row right here. Gillette, Target, Tums. I, I, don't, I don't even know what Tom, 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 what? I don't even know what that says. Tom Rom? I don't even know what that is, but it, okay, there you go. It actually adds uh, taillights. I mean, this was just black paint. Nothing there. You got taillights on there. You got more taillights here on the back. Energizer. You got the Chevy logo right there. You got Lysol broken up on there. Absolutely awesome. More taillights. Very cool looking. You got the Tums. You got the whole Tom Nom thing, Gillette. All that, all the way going through here, absolutely, absolutely amazing. And of course, the big difference, the big Target logo right up on there. You got, I added those two Autobot logos. Now, it comes with Autobot logos. It also has a TF3 logo. I elected not to put that on myself. I just I just didn't want it on there. Kind of breaks up the look, I suppose. Uh, and then you come around near the front, Impala actually adds stickers down here on the bottom. Or, wait. No, it's right here. And stickers right here just to kind of fill that in a little bit because this entire section right here was red. Now, you do have some Chevy logos here. You're supposed to put one here and, and I believe down here somewhere or whatever. I, I, I elected only to put one of them on there just because I, I, I think two in the same kind of general area would have been a little bit of overkill. So I didn't do that myself. But just that big Target logo on there fixes so much. You got the big number 42 kind of broken up on there. This is just absolutely a uh, hundred percent better looking so much more character and detail is just added to this i mean like i said this figure absolutely screamed for more detail it was it was so so terrible and so lacking before now you can have this and you can still add the whole weapons on here and keep completely make them weaponized and none of the stickers are are really hidden by this so that's absolutely fantastic and a wonderful, wonderful touch. Now, I really think that in terms of the overall look, the vehicle mode really does come through, I, I think, the, the best in terms of a display piece. But none of these stickers are really hidden in terms of the robot mode. But the stickers, without a doubt, severely make the robot mode look absolutely a hundred times better you can really see where a lot of the details just are completely missing mostly because of you know the sponsorship logos and things of that nature but you can really tell i mean as nice of a figure as this really is how kind of dull it just looked without those added kind of sponsorship logos so you're really able to improve the look with these new stickers and you're able to make the figure go from looking like this to how he really should look and that's like this i mean when you look at this, it's instantly improved upon. Now, granted, a lot of the subtle stickers are kind of lost, but you still see a lot of them, actually. You just really kind of have to look. The biggest ones that you're noticing, right here, 
and right here. Those stickers just add so much character to this. I mean, it, it just pulls this out so much more and so wonderfully captures that look that we saw in the movie. This finally gives us a way to have Leadfoot, at least in toy form, look how he sort of did in the actual movie. I mean, really, it, it's like if you pause this video and go from this point here to the point when I actually didn't have the stickers on, it's absolutely amazing how nice this is. It, just, just adding this whole chest bit here just adds so much more to this figure. I mean, this is just absolutely wonderful. And like I said, you can still see a lot of the sticker detail here. You know, and then you have some of uh, the sticker detail down in here and then here. And it just adds, you know, then you got some up there. You know, it adds them in kind of random spots. But by transforming them, it, it obviously kind of breaks it up. But that aside, like I said, you, you get so much more of an improvement just from this part right here. Just so incredibly wonderful. I mean, the, the amount of detail that this set adds to a, a figure that was just desperately in need of it is monumental in my opinion. With, without a shadow of a doubt, guys, I highly would recommend picking this set up. If you have this figure, it needs these stickers. There, there's no question about it. And for only $9, that's how much the stickers cost, they can be shipped to you anywhere in the world for just $3. So you're talking $12 for stickers that if you wanted to customize this, and, and even if you wanted to paint it yourself, you're going to pay more than $12 in terms of paint. I absolutely love the way that this looks, and I cannot thank Repro Labels enough for giving this set to me so that I can actually do this and finally have a definitive-looking Leadfoot in my Transformers collection. So again, I highly, highly recommend this set, especially if you have this figure. <laughs> well, the set's not going to work too terribly well with other figures, so if you have this figure, get this set. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomus with a much better looking lead foot saying thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you later.